Hey guys and gals, Mike Cricket 113. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm uh, out here in a parking lot actually up on a hill. Uh, I was running 20 meters today and 40 meter. There was the Missouri CUSO party going on. Made a lot of contacts for those guys out there calling CQ using the Zygu or however you say it, G90. Uh, I was running anywhere between one watt and five watts one watt and five watts uh made a couple one watt con uh, contacts into missouri using the 20 meter mfj 1620 uh ham stick and the zygu obviously <clears throat> and uh yeah made a couple three watt contacts just because there was a little bit of qr mary mad made noise you know next to me and whatnot so i kind of upped the wattage <laughs> to three watts and a couple five watt contacts so that was awesome so i love this radio it's about the size of a cb radio it's 20 watts it's got an internal tuner it can do digital modes cw uh, am fm and sideband can do repeaters and all that stuff for 10 meters uh but yeah love this radio i got it well the wife got it for me when it was around 300 I think it was like 250 bucks or 300 bucks or something like that. Now I heard they're up to over 350 into the $400 range, and that's inflation for you. So I'm so glad we got this uh, when it was cheaper. I uh, love this radio. Great automatic tuner. You know, those, uh, that Yaesu 891 HF, you know, mind you, it's a 100 watt mobile radio. Uh, but it doesn't have an internal tuner. This one does. So I'm glad I don't have to bring anything extra besides my battery. Uh, so yeah, just going to take everything down. Uh, go stop at uh, the local convenience store, get a drink, get some coffee and whatnot, and be on my way. That's what I love about this radio. I just keep it in my backpack, and I keep it in the box it originally came in. I just put everything back where it belongs. And it fits nicely. Well, if I had two hands, I'd be doing this. It fits nicely. <laughs> and I just put everything back in the box. And I got my bio battery in there. Lithium ion phosphate. Uh, total overkill for this radio. But it's a 30 amp hour battery. So it can run my Yaesu FT991 Alpha uh, for a few days on uh, medium power. But uh, this radio, geez, I never tested it. Maybe one of these days I should. Uh, maybe when I go camping for, you know, a long weekend or or a week or whatever on vacation, I'll take it with me. But uh, definitely take it with me. This is the radio pretty much the Zygu G90. I take this radio with me everywhere. And uh, I, it's my radio I prefer. I leave the 991 at home. This thing fits in a box. Fits in my backpack. I got my uh, battery, like I said. I keep some coax in there. Uh, I keep my wire antenna in there. And it's good to go. So uh, if you're looking for a QRP radio, but you maybe aren't into QRP so much, so you want to have an option for more power, up to 20 watts. Uh, and, of course, you'll get some swing on sideband and AM. But uh, this is the radio, I think, for you. Uh, there's a couple other radios out there as well. The 705 is a big option, you know, but that's only 5 five watts on battery and uh, 10 watts if you plug it in. Uh, Zygu makes a couple other QRP radios as well, 5 watt limited. Um, but the Zygu G90, I swear, is the best because you can go down to your 1 watt and play QRP or whatever watt you like to use. And uh, you have a choice. You have a choice. This is Mike Cricket 113. I'll say 73. Uh, this morning, the uh, CB bands weren't really popping, so I figured I'd come up here and play ham radio. Have a good one. Take care. Enjoy your beautiful day. Take care. 73. Bye bye.